Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows on a MacBook. Now this is my 2015 MacBook Air, so it is quite old. I've been able to do this, has been around for a long time. And the software to do this, believe it or not, is actually comes on the MacBook. So first thing you need to have before you go anywhere near that software is you need to have a Windows 10 ISO. Now, if you already have a Windows 10 ISO, you can skip to the next bit. But if you do not, then you need to watch this bit and I'll show you how to get one. So on your MacBook, go to your browser. I will leave the link in the description, but you can just type in Windows 10 download and go to the Microsoft website, which I will leave in the description. Then once you're on that website, go down, select edition, does 10 multi edition, confirm. Then choose the language that you want to English, confirm. Then choose whether you want 64 bit or 32 bit, which on this MacBook, we want 64 bit. Then choose where it goes. Just have it on the desktop, save. Now how fast this downloads depends on how fast your internet is, so I'll be back once that's downloaded. So once it's downloaded, you want to know where your ISO file is, so I have it here on my desktop. Go to the launch pad, go to the folder that says other, then click on boot camp assistant, click continue. Now this shows the partition, so I only have a 256 gigabyte SSD in here. So Mac OS, once I do this, this Windows will be 36 gigabytes. Oh, no, I've bumped it up. Yes, yeah, it's either 36 or 42. So I have this Windows will be 36 gigabytes, which is not much for Windows really. And then my Mac OS will be 85 gigabytes and I only have 10 gigabytes free. But you can uninstall this if you want to. And at some point I am planning in upgrading the SSD in this and replacing the battery in this MacBook. So maybe, I'll make a videos on them at some point, but then just click install and then just wait for it to do it. It goes through downloading the Windows support software, then it starts to partition the disk. After that, the MacBook will reboot itself, so it's just turned itself off. And as you can see, now we have a Windows logo. So then from here, it's just a pretty much a normal Windows installation. It asks for a product key. I don't have one. I'll find one later. <laughs> Um, and then you can decide what edition you want to install. So I'm just going to go for Windows 10 Pro. Next. Accept. And then you have to select, it asks you where you want to install Windows. So select the bootcamp partition. It can't see the actual, like this is the macOS partition. I don't think it would let you install it on there, but don't try to anyway. Set the bootcamp partition. Next. Then it will go through the Windows normal sort of setup thing. Then the computer will restart and it's still just normal Windows setup. So like logging in with your Microsoft account, all that sort of stuff. So United Kingdom, skip. I'll just skip this bit because you probably know how to set up a Windows installation. See, so once Windows is installed, you have this big prop come up here, say welcome to the bootcamp installer. So click next. We'll accept, click install, then wait for it to do it. Then once it's done, click finish and you need to restart it. So we'll do that later. But like once you've restarted it and everything it should just be like a normal PC, except for it's on a MacBook, which is good. So it's like, then you've got Microsoft Edge and it is quite fast. To be fair, considering it's Windows running on a MacBook, I think it's quite fast. And I've got to say, this is the best Windows laptop I've owned, probably. So yeah, if I ever need a Windows laptop, this is the one that I'll use. Obviously, I've got my PC here, so this probably won't get used that much. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you've seen this video. Bye. <laughs>